somebody has swelling of the feet i am just noticing that uh, that person is not able to put his foot into his shoe or chappals and i ask him what is the problem is the shoe not of the proper size for you he says no just few days back or she of course the few days back the chappal or shoes were good size and now suddenly i'm not able to put my foot in i'm feeling a bit heavier my clothes are also not fitting then that tells me well this person has fluid retention that is swelling of the feet swelling of the body so swelling of the feet is called as edema feet and swelling of the entire body is called as anasarca now this it leads to a diagnosis of fluid retention in the body which can have many causes in the body the first thing which anybody thinks of is that there is a kidney disease there is a problem with the urinary water excretion so that can be because of nephrotic syndrome acute kidney injury or chronic kidney disease but later on we also have to think of other causes they can be four different causes of swelling of the feet or water retention in the feet the first thing of course is kidney in which we check the urine proteins and 24 urine protein and serum creatinine blood levels and the second is the heart in which we check the ejection fraction of the heart and the diastolic dysfunction of the heart the third is liver function in which we check the bilirubin liver enzymes and we also check the total protein serum albumin report of the blood so if the protein in the blood the albumin in the blood is low because of liver dysfunction then also the person will get a swelling of the feet the fourth cause is thyroid but thyroid is a special type it is called as myxedema in which the swelling is non pitable as they say it that you cannot press your finger in the feet and there will be a depression it will not be there in myxedema that is thyroid problems so these are the four common causes a rarer cause of this would be the amlodipine type of drugs which are used for anti hypertensives in blood pressure patients this amlodipine can sometimes lead to edema of the feet there is a better control of blood pressure because of amlodipine but a side effect of it is a swelling of the feet in such cases we request the patient to switch to another class of drug and the swelling of the feet goes away another very rare cause is that the person is extremely obese and the fat deposits are up to the to the toes almost everywhere the person is very very fat and this has to be carefully seen because an over obese person may not be really having a swelling of the feet because of fluid retention it may be fat only so that a clinical acumen will tell you so whenever the person is having a swelling of the feet the first thing you will ask the person is the weight gain which the person has so the weight gain can be 3 kilos 5 kilos 10 kilos and then accordingly you will tell the person to cut down on fluid intake to take less water if you are taking 3 glasses of water take only one glass you are taking just a full glass of water take only a sip of water and you will supplement that with diuretics that is those which cause the urine formation to increase in the body so whenever that is done the water flow comes out and then the swelling subsides now this is just a symptomatic management it does not treat the cause so you have to test the patient from all the four aspects of the swelling of the feet fluid retention that will be kidney heart liver and thyroid and then finally you will decide what type of management needs to be titrated or changed for the swelling of the feet to go away so that is how you will do all this thank you